Understanding Balance Sheet Balance sheet is one of the most important financial documents that summarizes the financial position of any company. It's a statement of assets and liabilities of a firm and shows what an organization owns and owes. Now let's understand broader components of balance sheet. Assets. These are the items with a tangible value of what a company owns. Assets are further divided into current assets and non-current assets. Current assets can be easily converted into cash while it's difficult for non-current assets. Examples of current assets include accounts receivable, cash in hand, etc. While intellectual property rights, investment in other companies are considered non-current assets. Liabilities. These are the items that a company owes to its debtors. Liabilities are also divided into current and non-current. While current liabilities are the ones that the company needs to fulfill in the next year, non-current liabilities represent long-term debt. Shareholders' equity. This component tells about the capital contributed in a business by shareholders. A balance sheet is an essential part of company's analysis because it helps you understand company's financial health, gauge the company's liquidity positioning and business performance, aids you to understand the growth of the company, gives you an idea about a firm's ability to undertake big projects, and helps identify a company's source of funding. There are certain ratios that can help you while evaluating a company's balance sheet before investing in it. Some of these ratios are return on capital employed. This ratio helps you understand how much profit a company is able to generate against its total capital employed. Here, capital employed is calculated as total assets minus current liabilities. To understand ROCE in detail, click on the link in the description. Ratio of current assets to current liabilities. This ratio shows how liquid is the working capital cycle of a company. Ideally, this ratio should be between 1.5 and 3. Assets Turnover Ratio This ratio is an indicator of the efficient utilization of a company's assets. A high ratio is desirable as it shows that the company is using its assets more efficiently to generate sales and profitability. Reading the company's balance sheet gives you a wealth of information that helps you make a prudent investment decision. If you liked our video, like, share and subscribe to our channel. And for more such videos, visit our website www.edelweiss.in.